guys, I am Brie Danielle and welcome to my channel! down but this is definitely something that I've been wanting to do forever so I'm so glad you guys are clicking on my video and watching me right now like this is amazing so first off thanks for coming thanks for stopping by hit that like button hit that subscribe button and tell all your friends to come see um, life with Brie and as you can tell by the title um, we are doing summer skincare why not just get into the video so, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about summer skincare. Now, skincare is something that I've always had a passion for, but I've always struggled with my skin because I have super dry skin. Um, I used to live in Louisiana, and shortly after graduating, I moved to the Iowa, Illinois area. And up there, it's super dry, especially in the winter. Like, it was frigid, cold, it was crazy. My skin went crazy. I ended up developing eczema so it ended up starting like on my forehead and my edges and then eventually took over my scalp so then um kind of dealt with that went to the doctor started doing some medicine hated the regimen because i was literally washing my hair like every other day maybe or every like two or three days but of course that would dry my hair out and it would kind of help the situation but the the bad thing was like it would not only take care of like take over my scalp but the scaliness and the dry patchiness would then proceed down my forehead which was like the worst because i'm going to work my face getting dry and then i'm constantly like trying to apply some type of cream so i've experimented with pro uh, products i've use products that the doctor have given me which i'm not really a fan of medicine and prescribed and all these different type of chemicals especially when you're applying it to your face so i decided to throw those to the side and kind of use over-the-counter um natural if i could um but just less harsh of a product on my face especially if i was using it daily right so we can get right into it um I won't go into a particular order because everybody has their own skincare regimen, what order to do what. I'm gonna try my best to go in the order that I usually typically would go in. But if I get out of order, you know, sorry. <laughs> so my first thing is when I get home, whether I wear makeup or not, you're gonna have some type of dirt on your face, right? So usually during the week at my nine to five, I won't wear makeup. Um, and I'll get into what I actually wear on a database. But before I get in the shower, I usually like to wash my face. And the first thing that I use to wash my face, or I should say cleanse my face or clear my face or get the dirt off my face, the stuff you use to get the dirt off, okay? Um, is gonna be the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. So, this is like literally the softest product um, that I've experienced um, as in regards to like a cleansing water. I've never really had any issues with any cleansing water that I've used. Um, I just picked this particular one because this is the one I like best. Um, makeup wipes, again, I have sensitive skin, I have dry skin. I found those to be a little harsher on my skin than I would have wanted it. So I do like to use the cleansing, micellar cleansing water. Um, I use the like the cotton rounds to kind of um, that's what I moisten it with, and you know wash my face or cleanse my face better yet. So sometimes I would say. 
be particular about the brand of those you get because sometimes the cotton is a cheaper cotton and it's like a scratchier. So I typically like to use this with the premium um, rounds or they're almost like a double round from Target um, because it's just a softer cotton and my skin likes it. I can turn red really easy. Um, and so I prefer to use stuff that's just a little more general or so. Yeah, this is my cell water. It is an all-in-one. It removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. It says it cleanses, it refreshes. You don't have to rinse. It's no harsh rubbing required. And you can use this for your lips, your face, and your eyes. And I will definitely say this is a great product. When they drop this, I know it had like three or four other ones depending on your skin type. I know for sure they have one for oily people, but of course I didn't get that one because I'm dry. So I just got the um, the one for all types and then it says even sensitive. So that's what kind of stuck out to me because I know I'm sensitive, so I get the blue one. All right, so next. So I know some people don't like using this because they say it clogs your pores, but I like to use it. Um, on days where I do wear makeup, and I'm gonna say, I wouldn't say a heavy face when I beat my face or I attempt to beat my face. Um, sometimes I really want to get the makeup broken up. Um, again, I don't really like to use makeup wipes, so in that case, I use or the organic version coconut oil. Um, so I really think you can use any coconut oil. I just prefer to use the Trader Joe's brand. Um, I use this for my face, for my body, like at night if I want to lather in something that's not lotion. I use this because again, I'm dry. Um, like I said, I was told I had eczema and I don't know if I talked about this earlier, but after moving from Iowa, I moved to Texas and now the doctor says I have dermatitis. Yeah, so I don't know, eczema, dermatitis, whatever. This is my friend. So again, this is the Trader Joe's Organic Virgin Coconut Oil. Okay, so um, yeah, it's literally your regular coconut oil. Um, it says coconut oil, which is derived from the meat of mature coconuts, is a, is a mild flavored and extremely stable oil Thanks to this stability, it is suitable for cooking and heats well to high temperature. Of course, like I said, you get this in the cooking section at Trader Joe's. Um, so, yeah, it works for my skin. I like it. So, after I've cleansed my face with either micellar water or the coconut oil, depending if it's a makeup or a non-makeup day, when I get in the shower, I like to wash my face, open my pores, so um, I do that every night. And the first thing that I've really started using when I kind of gotten into like a skincare regimen was this CeraVe. So this is Ignore. It's, whew, it's not much left, been through a lot. <laughs> so this is CeraVe. Um, says develop with dermatologist. It is the foaming facial cleanser for normal to, this says normal to oily skin, but it says it helps to repair and restore protective skin barrier. Um, it's non-drying, non-irritating. And I think I really ended up liking this one because of the foaming. Um, I really felt like it did cleanse my face very well. And then the non-drying, that aspect is very true. Um, sometimes when you use the like different products, when you finish, you almost feel like your face is stiff because it makes it so dry. Um, I've never had this, which is why, and it, this actually lasted a good little while. There's not much left, but um, yeah, this is like, it's not much to it. It's CeraVe, it's really good. Um, I love it, again. It is the Foaming Facial Cleanser. Excuse my dirty bottle. The bottle is, a. Uh, it's been through war. <laughs> so, when I don't use CeraVe, there is another cleanser that I do like to use. Now, this is a newer product that I've probably only been using over the last month. But when I tell you this, along with another one that I'm going to mention later on, 
is freaking bomb. It is freaking bomb, okay? So, this is the Flawless Facial Cleanser, and it is by Get Flawless Skin, and um, <clears throat> the, let me see, owner, founder, CEO of Get Flawless Skin is actually an old classmate of mine um, from undergrad. Um, we went to the same university, and we were in the same major, so she's doing crazy amazing things. Shout out to Megan. Um, Y'all check her out. I'm gonna put her handle at the bottom or either at the top somewhere. It's gonna be on the screen. It's gonna be in the description box. But this facial cleanser, at first, not gonna lie, I was like, hmm, is it like my regular facial cleanser? No, it's not. You guys need to get your hands on this. Um, this particular one is for dry skin. So she has um, a collection for dry and she has a collection for oily um i of course went with the dry i also she has larger bottles than this um again with this one and the other one i want to mention later i got a smaller one because i'm sensitive i wanted to see how my skin would react to it before i just bought a big bottle and end up wasting it so to keep from being wasteful i decided to go small first but yeah her um her ingredients are all natural um, and it says consistency self-love the formula to flawless skin and I love that because I definitely have seen um, you know amazing results from this but I like that she said you know your formulas of flawless skin that just goes everything with the get flawless skin brand is bomb but if you really want to know, breaking down, uh, broken down, sorry. <laughs> um, the ingredients are organic aloe leaf juice, organic coconut oil, um, steric acid, glycerin, organic jo jojoba seed. Sorry if I'm like butchering some of this. Grapeseed oil, avocado fruit oil, which hazel water, vitamin E, and a host of other good stuff. Look. It's a really good product. I love it. I'm almost like done. I literally have this much left. But all you need, and she tells you, you just need a dime size. But this is the product. And like I said, it is something you definitely want to get your hands on. Get flawless skin. I think I saw her say she's coming out with more products. I don't have the whole collection, but... The cleanser and the other one that I'll mention later on <clears throat> are the two that I have and it's great. You should try it. So like I said, my skin sometimes break out. I, I have eczema or dermatitis or whatever they want to call it. I've been on different medications for it and it just seemed like the cleansers and the creams that they would give me weren't really helping. Like I would literally use it consistently for weeks and the same breakout would be there and I'll go back to my regular products and it will clear up faster than the stuff the doctors gave me. So I've also come across um, something that we used to always hear about in high school and middle school and I kind of skipped the breakout acne stage and I'm not going to let thank you God for protecting me from that but um <clears throat> I've never had acne issues, so I, when I had this problem that came up, you know, after graduating from college, I didn't know what to do, so that's how I ended up at the dermatologist, but when I do have a really bad breakup, this is, I'm going to call it the Old Faithful because it's been around for as long as I know, Noxema or no eczema, whatever, however you said it, because I saw a post on Instagram, or it might have been Twitter. And they were like, oh, sucks when you're in your 20s and you realize you've been pronouncing this name wrong your entire life. And I really was like, oh, I don't, I still don't know what it is. So, so uh, it might be no eczema, it might be noxema. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So this is the Classic Clean Original Deep Cleansing Cream. And it says it tingles and refreshes for soft, smooth skin with eucalyptus. Yes. This definitely tingles. It feels good. I will say after I finish this, I feel like 
it's almost like tingling my my issues away like it's like a nice breeze to where when I wake up in the morning it's gonna all go away but it's a great product I don't use it often you know I don't use it often I use it when it absolute like when my skin is at its absolute worst and I'm on the verge of thinking about turning about going back to those older products from the doctor and I know they're not gonna work but I get so desperate because the breakout so bad and sometimes I don't know if it's like weather change or in Texas it's dry versus in Louisiana we had humidity it's definitely drier here so I don't know if it's that or honestly I don't know what else it could be um you know they say sometimes stress or different things could apply to it the foods you eat um, so all that plays a role into it. I haven't tracked it down enough to really understand. It is my goal to really track it down to see if it is like more of an allergy that is at, um, that's causing it or if it's just my skin and it not getting along with the Texas weather, one or the other. But yep. Ah! And that's how you drop stuff. So usually when I finish my face, face routine, I always pat dry once I finish those cleansers. And then when I get out, the first thing I grab is my Witch Hazel. So this is Thayer's Facial Toner, Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. And the fragrance is Rose Petal. I don't ever remember getting a fragrance. I think I usually get original because I don't ever remember it smelling like anything. And rose petal, yeah, it just it smells kind of rosy. It, it's not bad, but one time I accidentally needed a mini to travel with, and it was cucumber. And I used it, and I was like, "Why do I smell cucumbers? Like that's so weird." And then I looked at it, not knowing that they have different fragrances. I think they even have a lavender fragrance, which I think would be kind of calming, like calming of oh, common. It will be calming if you're getting ready for bed, you know, lather, lavender is soothing and it makes you want to be, you know, like go to sleep. So anyways, um, this is alcohol free, but anyways, my facial toner, witch hazel, everybody knows witch hazel. Um, this is what I use. So again, I use those same cotton rounds, the premium ones, like I said, I get it from Target. They're like, I don't know, $3, $2. For a whole pack and the same thing that i use for my cleansing um i use for this um i open it put some drops and i just wipe it over my face so which is so the next product that i usually use it it's iffy so if it's in the morning and my face is really 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 dry i will spray this on here at night, if I'm not too bad, I'll skip it. Um, but I love it. And again, it's not much left. So this is the Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. So I just call it the rose water spray. Um, but this stuff has been bomb. Probably one of the longest items I've been using. Um, other than the CeraVe and the coconut oil, I've been using this for years. I will never put it down. It will always be a part of life. Um, when I have flare-ups or if I just feel like my face is irritated, I will spray this on here. Partially because of the aloe. Um, it helps. Again, if I'm dry, um, I know a lot of people like when they get dry, they spray like those elixir um, which I used to use the coddly one but I haven't used that one probably all year but this is something you could use when you're on an airplane and it's super dry and you just need some type of moisture boom here it is um y'all this stuff if you have not tried it it is awesome point blank period <laughs> no seriously on all like seriousness this is a great product so you should try it okay so now after we've toned or you know did all of that I usually move into my oils and my creams so I actually have three different oils so bear with me 
So my first one is, I'm gonna call it my nighttime oil. It is this Shea Moisture 100% um, virgin co coconut oil, um, hydration overnight face oil with coconut mint, coconut milk, I cannot read, and uh, Asasia Senegal. Um, it says it softens and restores your skin. So there's no parabens, you know, no mineral, no sulfates, no animal testing, like y'all know, Shea Moisture, super good. But I found this at Ulta and I think it was on sale. And I read it and I'm like, ooh, daily hydration overnight. I'm dry, I need all the hydration that I can get. So I grabbed it and at first, I'm not gonna lie, I did not like it. And I don't even know why I didn't like it. I just didn't like how it felt on my skin. I didn't like how it set on my skin. I didn't feel like my skin was fully absorbing it, but maybe it was a phase. Maybe my skin was probably at its worst when it was when I first started using this. So, um, but now I love it. I use this oil every night. Um, again, it is the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Oil for hydration overnight. And I will say when I use this, when I wake up the next morning, I don't feel like I'm dry. Like it actually moisturizes and hydrates my skin throughout the night. So I do like this. Um, this was my first bottle. Um, so I haven't had to purchase one again. And it is like the teardrop. This is a lot of oil guys. So you really don't like need much. Like that's a lot of drops. I'm like, yeah, three drops shorty. And just to show you like, it's fairly eh, runny, I would say. It's super light, it's not heavy. It's super light. It's super duper light. So you don't need that much. A little bit goes a long way. Like that one little drop has like, whew. Yes, the hydration is there. My next one is probably my favorite oil of all, all times. All times, okay. Um, So this goes back to Gift Wallet Skin. My girl Megan, shout out again. Y'all really need to check her out. So I'm gonna throw her stuff somewhere. It's gonna be on here again. This is her Liquid Gold Serum, again, for dry skin. Like I said earlier, I got the travel size of both of them because I didn't know how my skin would react. Definitely re-upping on both of them ASAP. Um, so, this tells you to shake well, apply three to four drops of this face oil to your face after your cleansing and toning. And you can use this in the AM and the PM. Um, of course, she has her natural ingredients that she uses, and then of course, um, all of her labeling, and just like the other one, it's um, all natural ingredients. <laughs> ingredients, sorry. Um, consistency, self-love, the formula to flawless skin. Usually in the morning after I wash my face, tone, I go straight to this, because I don't wear makeup at my 9 to 5, so. I tried to be as clear face as I possibly could for you today. So, me and we're talking about skincare. Let's keep it clear, sis. So, yeah, I literally, I, I almost don't wanna show y'all, but I will. Um, it's a teardropper too, but I don't have that much left. That's why I really, I don't wanna waste it. But, when you see this oil, you're gonna lose your mind. This is like Fenty Beauty Bob, Body lava, Ugh, let's redo that. This is like Fenty Beauty body lava for your face. But moisturizing, not sticky. <laughs> so, oh, I hate that I can't give it like, let's see, <laughs> this is better. I literally don't have that much left. But do you guys see that? It's literally liquid gold. So I'm just gonna drop to drop the glitter the glisten so when you're rubbing in again it's super light almost it's lighter than the um 
I'm gonna sit. It's lighter than the, it's lighter than the Shea Moisture, but yet so enriching and, and moisturizing and hydrating and everything else. And on top of that, it smells, I don't know. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells good. I like it. It's super light. It's not like a deep fragrant. It's, I'm pretty sure it's just the soft fragrant of your natural, of the natural oils that's in it. Um, pear, natural pear fragrant, definitely what it is. There is a natural pear fragrance in it. And, um, yeah, so it's not, it, again, it's very light, not too oily. You only need a little bit. And when, like, you put it on your face, y'all, when the sun hits you, you're literally, like, I thought of Twilight. I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all watch Twilight. But, like, when the vampires go in the sun and they, like, glisten, that's literally what that oil does. It's so pretty. I wish I had a light. Maybe I'll show it later of how the glow is. Maybe I'll take a picture with the glow. Amazing top facial oil in the market. Facial serum. Let me say it right. Liquid Gold Serum Oil. Same difference top one in the business y'all need to check it out like seriously so on to the next one so it's, it's almost sad that this one's last because it's the first one I ever started with and probably the one I've been using the longest but it is the Tarte Maracuja oil so I really like this oil this is the oil that I use again it's the whole teardropper thing um, it is the oil that I use sometimes now. Um, it depends on how dry my face is. If um, if I just want to add a little extra at night on top of the Shea Moisture, I sometimes mix those. Um, other than that, during the day, if I this actually was my daytime oil before I started Megan's, um, the Get Flawless. That, before that one reached my life, this was my daytime go-to. So, depending on what you wanna use, I will say I don't pick this up as much anymore, but I definitely like it. All right, we literally had a brief intermission. Um, my camera shut off on me, and I don't know how to feel about it. So, we're gonna continue. We have one more product left, so, hold on. Anyways, we have one more um, product. It is gonna be my cream. And this is my holy grail, the only cream I will ever use, um, unless something. There's, this is the holy grail. Um, anyways, it's the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. It says it's 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for healthy looking skin with glacial glycoprotein. Okay. Kills is killing the game. Kills is killing it, okay? Y'all, I heard so much about this cream and I was always hesitant to buy it. Why? I have no idea. I think I was just scared because I had tried so many creams that didn't really work. Um, literally several. Like, no, more than several. I should, there were a lot. Like, I was going into Sephora and Ulta and just trying to find a cream that would work. Um, I ended up like going to a drugstore, the Amino, no, yeah, the Avino um, eczema cream one or eczema therapy or whatever they call it. That was the only one, and then I finally broke down and bought this. Um, best cream. If you're dry, you'll love it. I don't know. Maybe if you're oily, you'll love it too. Like, it is really lightweight. And when it says lightweight, yes. 24 hour hydration, yes. Like when I wear this, I don't have to, like sometimes when I wear different creams, for example, that Aveeno one is good, but maybe around 12 o'clock midday, I'll start getting like scaly and rough patchy and it'll start drying out for whatever reason. If it's dry air in the office, whatever it is. When I wear this, y'all, I never, ever, unless it's like a really, really bad breakout which is not often, but this usually holds me over the entire day until I redo my facial routine in the afternoon. Like, 
you can't go wrong. You should try it. Um, I wasted a lot of money getting higher in creams. Like I said, I was in your Sephora's, I was in your Ulta's, all these different places trying to get like a high quality cream and they just weren't working. So this is the go-getter, okay? This is what y'all need. All right, so that is all that I have. We had a total of two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven 11 products, 11 great products. Seriously, go check them out if you have similar issues. Um, I'm actually gonna post pictures somewhere on the sides um, or at the end of the video and show kind of where I was. And I don't know if you guys can tell, like no makeup, just clear face here. My forehead is not scaly at all. And this has kind of literally been my summer commitment. Um, I actually got married in June. So my biggest fear was not being able to handle the amount of makeup or the day of makeup because of my skin. Again, I don't wear full face every day. I typically only wear it for special events or on the weekends. By the way, excuse my brows, I know they're out of control. But yeah, so I usually wear it on weekends, don't wear church. Um, yeah, so Saturdays. <laughs> if I'm going somewhere or if we're having like, if we're going out and about and I wanna get a little cute and jazzy, I'll do it. But other than that, I rarely merit wear makeup these days. So I was super, 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 super conscious of what my face would look like on my wedding day. And I'm like, is it gonna start peeking through the makeup? Cause the, like when the scales come out y'all, it literally looks like alligator skin, ashy alligator skin, okay? Ashy, cause it's white, it's flaky, and it's scaly. Like, point, like, ashy alligator. We're gonna hashtag that, ashy, hall <laughs> ashy alligator. But anyways, it was a big fear of mine. So summertime, leading up to the wedding, of course, April, May, all that throughout June, July, up to now, end of August, um, I really committed to locking down products that work for me. And these are the ones that I use. So hopefully they are helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, hit the like button first, then hit the subscribe, then comment down below um, whatever questions you might have if you like this video. Um, you know, put that down there as well. If you would like to see more stuff like this, if you would like to actually see me do a routine, um, I'll be more than happy. Um, yeah, so anything you would like to comment, feel free. Um, positive vibes only. Um, excuse my hair, okay? Eh, my passion twists are getting old. Um, I actually saw Raven Elise do the same exact passion twists and I told my friend, girl, I want to try it. So she helped me one day. I know, this is such a tangent. Sorry, guys, I had to tell you all this. So um, she helped me a few weeks ago. I should say she did it because I started to attempt and it was just terrible me trying to see. So she actually basically just did my hair for me. But y'all, hair off of Amazon, cheap, cheap. As long as you have a mirror and you know how to part your head or you can have somebody who help you. It's really easy and a great little transitional. If you're in between hairstyles, I'm natural. So I just needed a protective style for a little bit until I decided to switch to something else. But anyways, thanks again for joining me. Like I said, if I did not post the pictures earlier, <laughs> I'll have them coming up next. But I hope this was helpful and have a blessed day. Bye.